G'day folks, in this video we're making a small brass fitting. This is actually 8mm or 516 diameter stock. That's a Sumitomo 1.5mm wide parting insert. Leaves a nib but the drill doesn't seem to be bothered by it much so uh, I didn't worry about it. That's a standard 4mm stub drill doing the job quite nicely. And we go back in just to break the sharp edge. Here's the simulation with the parting tool being used as a stop before facing off. I included the drill as well in this bit because there really wasn't much of the facing off was there. And there's my version of break the sharp edge. You can see it's not a chamfer, it just simply breaks the sharp edge. The thread we're cutting on this is a 32 TPI model engineer thread with a 55 degree thread angle. Um, running the machine at 2000 RPM. It would cut it at 3000 RPM but the acceleration and deceleration just bangs about too much. I'd rather be a bit easier on the machine. And now having cut the thread we're going to remove most of it. Yep that's all that's left is about two full threads but that's what the customer wanted. This little dance that you see the turning tool do is just to put a small chamfer on the end of the part. I was using the parting tool but with a 0.05 radius on the corner it was impossible to get a decent finish which I got by using the turning tool as you can see there and now we part but not off I was really lucky actually with my setting for this thing I was just able to break them off by hand rather than having to tap them off because as you can see there there was no room to tap them off really so just being able to break them off by hand was ideal now as usual we'll run through the whole process with no simulation this is actually what I used to make the short that I put up a while ago um, be obviously before I made the short tall and skinny uh, this was the video as I created it now for anyone that's bothered by that nib that's being left by the tool for the drill to have to drill into don't be because I've gotten used to it and I've discovered that if you leave the nib big it actually uh, just gets drilled by the drill it's when they're quite small and they bend over and they get stuck under one side of the drill and the drill goes berserk and really drills a terrible hole now if you hang on until the end you can have a look at the a photo of the part but also a look at the lighting that I'm using currently for making these videos like many guys I've got a Ryobi plus one system a number of tools that all work off the same battery and I discovered this lamp that you can see there on the left it's a spotlight supposedly 3000 lumens now I've got no, uh, bit, no idea how big a lumen is but this thing's got 3000 of them and it's really bright the only problem I had with this thing was there was no way to attach it to a tripod or a light stand or anything so I wondered if I could create a shoe for it that would then take a bush for a tripod screw to go into and you can just see it there in between the lamp and the tripod foot base plate yeah I did manage to do it and that will be in a future video thank you for watching